Right now at noon, March Madness Mania 2. South Florida teams in the Final Four. The Canes men's basketball returning back to Yon's campus early this morning, fresh off their win against the Texas Longhorns. And it is a similar celebration in Boca Raton. The FAU men's basketball team arriving yesterday after they beat the Kansas State Wildcats to head to the Final Four. It is the first time both teams have made it this far. The newsroom is buzzing. And there's a <laughs> lot of excitement. Local 10 News reporter Joseph Ojo is live. He's in Coral Gables for us with fan reaction from both schools. And boy, everybody is just so thrilled. This is certainly an exciting time for South Florida sports fans. We have two teams that are heading to the Final Four for the first time, and if they both win, they can play each other for the national title. Here in Coral Gables this morning, fans getting up extremely early to welcome the men's basketball team and the women's basketball team following tough opponents in the tournament. Canes fans fired up Monday morning as the men's basketball team continues dancing to the Final Four. It's the first time the Canes have gone to the Final Four. That was a crazy comeback. I don't know how we pulled through every game. They're the best heart in college basketball, so I think they deserve all the credit in the world. It's great to be a Miami Hurricane. It's a first ever Final Four appearance for the men's team, who returned Monday morning to quite the welcome. I'm only in college for four years and we're in the Final Four. Like, there's a once in a lifetime opportunity. You gotta, you know, gotta show up for the team. With the regional trophy in hand, head coach Jim Laranega celebrating by cutting the net following their historic win. We're very excited where we are, but uh, we're also very excited about playing next Saturday. The Canes women's team arriving hours later following a historic run of their own, making it to the Elite Eight for the first time in school history, but falling short of a Final Four appearance after a loss to a talented LSU Tiger squad. I mean, we did something no one else could do and really held them, but we just kept saying that little round thing just didn't go into the big round thing enough and uh, it was frustrating for my players but it wasn't lack of effort and it wasn't lack of preparation it was just one of those nights FAU! FAU! less than 50 miles away a similar celebration on Florida Atlantic University's campus where over the weekend the FAU Isles upset the Kansas State Wildcats to head to the final four the two South Florida teams now heading into major matchups with each team fighting to be crowned national champs so exciting, the Canes Hoops headed to the Final Four. And so next up for the Canes will be a matchup with the Yukon Huskies, while the FAU Owls will play San Diego State. Like I mentioned, if both teams do win, we could see a South Florida matchup for the national title. We're all expecting that and hoping for that. We're here in Coral Gables. I'm Joseph Ojo, Local 10 News. That's what we're hoping for, for sure. We'll be cheering on Saturday. Thanks so much, Joseph. And we'll continue, of course, to watch as the Owls and the Canes try to make it all the way to the NCAA championship game. Do stay with a Local 10, both on air and online. We will continue to have all kinds of good news updates for you.